Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Quack. This is a beautiful morning. The ducks are being fed and watered and are just doing their normal duck things this morning. It's a fine, fine morning on the farm here in the great state of Texas. So I decided that I was going to uh, put out a little feedback request in two uh, duck Facebook groups that I am in about what people would like to see on this channel because I was kind of honestly in a rut about ideas for filming, which seems ridiculous because there's always something to talk about with ducks, but I felt like I was kind of in a rut and I wanted some feedback, so I asked my Facebook group, what do you guys, what would you guys want to see in this YouTube? And I got so many great responses, so many amazing video ideas. So the next, um, for the foreseeable future, all of the videos, most of the videos I'm going to be filming will be videos that were suggested by people on the Facebook group. Of course, I'll be giving credit to these people. Um, absolutely. At the end of each video, I will tell you guys the first name of the person who inspired the video. I won't give out last names for obvious reasons, but I will give out the first name to give credit where credit is due. Um, the, the ideas were not my own. They were somebody else's and I'm just bringing them to life. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about um, the real, the realness of ducks. We're going to kind of go behind the scenes for a new duck owners or duck owners who, or, or people who might want to get ducks, but aren't really thinking about the cons. They're just thinking about the cute little fluffy ducklings. We're going to go through kind of the dark side or the downside of ducks and get kind of real about it. So people really know what they're getting themselves into when they decide to get ducks. So let's get right into it. All right, so the biggest theme we're gonna discuss in this video is how messy they are. That's kind of what everything comes back to is how messy these animals are. Um, they are they are not like dogs. They don't keep themselves clean, like super clean. They're very, very dirty most of the time and very messy. So let's start with their water, um, their water source if you do not have a filtered pond, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm talking about the kiddie pool. So I'm gonna expose myself real quick and just take a look at this. This pool was refilled last night, and as you can see, both are absolutely filthy. I will be refilling them again as soon as this video is over, um, because obviously I don't want my ducks to be playing in dirty water for too long, however, it is helpful to note that these pools will become dirty within about 10 minutes, depending on how many ducks you own. I have 48. These pools become dirty very, very quickly. So if you have a lot of ducks, I would highly, highly, highly suggest doing a like man-made pond that has a, some sort of filtration system. And I saw this really good idea on Facebook and I wish I knew, I wish I remember who said it, but somebody said that they poked little holes in the bottom of the pool to let it filter out naturally and then had the hose running on low during the day so that um, there was constantly clean water flowing through. And I think I might try that next. Um, the water, the cost of water in Texas is a lot cheaper than where we used to live, California. So I think I can afford to try that. So I'm gonna try that next because honestly, refilling uh, the kiddie pools every single day is not uh, my favorite thing. I will obviously do it because I love my ducks very much, but it's not my favorite. So make sure you know that you have to refill their water swimming area and they're drinking because they stick their faces in mud and they go drink their water and they get their water absolutely filthy. So you need to be refilling their water constantly. And yes, it gets tiring, especially if you are a working duck parent, you might not have the time to do that. So definitely think about that before getting ducks. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the coop and the messiness of the coop. Again, I'm going to expose myself. It has been raining for quite a few days recently. And so our coop has a dirt bottom and I promise I'm in the process of renovating my coop and looking for other options. I am open to options. I've heard a lot of things about river rocks and sand and I'm looking into those. It's just, um, we have to think about cost here. So we're obviously gonna put something down. The coop is under renovation right now, which is why the ceiling is partially caved in, but I'm gonna expose myself and show you what it realistically looks like when you have a dirt floor and ducks when it rains, it is gross. Um, yeah, that is just all water, poop, mud. It's disgusting. I agree. I will be looking at other options, but you need to know that they 
if it rains and you don't have a roof or they just will throw if you leave like if you have a swimming area in your coop and you have a dirt floor it's gonna look like that very quickly they throw water everywhere absolutely everywhere and they just they get themselves filthy so you'll need to clean out their coop a lot as well as their water source um, i'm gonna have to scoop out all this mud and goop to prepare it for whatever we're going to decide to put down. I'm going to look at into some other options today because I'm, I'm tired of looking at this. It's also really, really hard to collect the eggs when they are covered in that. So make sure that you have like a brooder box or something in your coop for your hens. And they may or may not lay on them. They're kind of, uh, mine are really finicky about that. They lay pretty much wherever they want. I have to walk around the yard at least five times a day to look for eggs or the raccoons will get them at night. So, um, yeah, the eggs, it's not fun to pick them up. They're covered in grossness. Can't really eat them because they're gross. Um, and if you're looking to sell eggs and you're looking to sell unwashed eggs and they look like that, people probably aren't gonna wanna buy them. So definitely make sure that you have uh, something on the bottom of the coop that protects um, the floor so that it doesn't get as gross when it rains or just as gross in general. Something that you could spray off with a hose really easily. That's what I'm really looking for. Um, I used pine shavings for about a week, but of course it rained and it soaked the pine state shavings. And obviously you can't even see them anymore because it just they just soaked up all that nastiness. So no more pine shavings. We're gonna switch to something um, a little more rocky, hopefully. Something that I can uh, just spray off really easily, keep the eggs clean. So that's what I'm hoping for. So your coop is gonna be filthy. New duck owners, people who think they want to get, who are thinking about getting ducks, take this into consideration. You cannot leave it like this because they will go diving in that and it's probably, it's not good for them to just be sticky in their faces and their own feces constantly. So you're gonna have to clean out their coop when it gets dirty. It's not fun and you'll have to do it often, especially if you have a lot of ducks like I do. So really, really think about how much work you're willing to put into keeping their area clean uh, before you get ducks. All right, so next we're gonna talk about if you have them free ranging in your yard. Um, if you don't live on a ton of acreage, we only have um, a quarter acre in our backyard. Um, so we just let the ducks free range on the entire, in the entire yard. And obviously here I'll show you. So it's just this. And they have all this space. There's obviously plenty of room for all of them. Um, however, for new duck owners, people who are thinking about getting ducks, there will be poop. If you decide, if you are letting them free range on your property and they're right up against like your house because you don't live on like tons of acreage, like some people, you will be dealing with poop in your yard everywhere. Your kids aren't gonna be able to run around the yard barefoot because they will step in duck poo. Um, it's everywhere. They don't poop in one specific place. You can't really pick it up like you do with dog poo. It'll, it's just there and you'll step in it. So if you never want to walk through your backyard barefoot again, get ducks and let them free range in your backyard. If you do want to walk through your backyard and you have a little bit of acreage and only maybe, or you have a yard like our size, but only have a couple of ducks, build them an area so that they only poop in that area. What we did is we actually had to fence off our patio because the ducks were coming onto the patio and either laying eggs in the corner of the patio or just pooping all over it. So we got tired of that really quickly. So we had to fence it off. Um, so they do have technically their own area, but obviously we can't walk around the, our backyard barefoot because there is duck poo absolutely everywhere. So if you never want to walk through your backyard again barefoot, get ducks. It's great. They're great, but they will poop everywhere and, be, and anywhere you let them, there will be poop. Anywhere you let them. So I had to bring one of my ducks out onto, into the garage area um, because I was hanging out with my boyfriend and his brother and I had to treat one of my ducks who uh, just came back from the vet and needs uh, daily treatments and I was letting him walk around the like front yard area and he just was pooping, pooping, pooping all over the sidewalk and I had to spray it off with the hose. So they poop everywhere you put them. So make sure you are aware that they poop literally everywhere. So anywhere you don't want poop, don't have the ducks because they will, they poop. They no control over it. They just poop, 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 poop. So make sure that where, make sure that wherever you're putting them, you're okay with not walking around barefoot. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about might crush some people's dreams, but it, it really needs to be talked about to the full extent and not just show the happy uh, rose-colored glasses version of what it is. And I'm gonna talk about house ducks, people who keep their ducks primarily in the house. I'm not hating on people, do what works for you. 
Um, I will say it's better for them to be able to free range throughout the yard, at least part of the day, just because they are uh, naturally outdoor animals and they do enjoy the outdoors. However, I totally understand if you want a like cuddle buddy when you're watching movies. I had one, unfortunately he passed away a little while ago, but he was, um, he was disabled and I would bring him inside and we'd watch movies together every Friday. So I love doing that with him. Um, but let's get into house ducks um, for people because obviously when people get animals for pets, they want to cuddle them, have them close to them, have them in the house, most people. Um, yeah, let's talk about the mess that that creates. So I have never had house ducks. I have had to keep ducklings in my apartment temporarily because um, my boyfriend was, was working and couldn't take care of them during the day. So I had to bring them over to my apartment during the day and take care of them. Oh my God, it drove me insane. I, people who can do that, I, I, I envy you the patience. It's hard, it's really hard. They are pooping every five minutes. Um, any area you put them in will become contaminated instantly. Uh, you, if you put towels down, you have to wash them. Mold, I've, I had to wash them multiple times a day. Um, it's, you just, you have to be willing to clean. And yes, the, the duck diapers are a good solution. However, you have to remember the ducks poop about every five minutes uncontrollably. And to be a good duck parent, you need to change their diaper and you have to change it often. Um, and some people don't realize that. They think they can just slap the diaper on, leave it on all day and it'll solve their problem. No, you have to change it multiple times a day. Uh, you line it with like a maxi pad and they poop, 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 but you need to probably change it every couple hours because they poop a lot and you don't want them just sitting in their own poo. That can breed bacteria, which can get into their vents and create problems later on. So you need to make sure their diapers are changed often and that can be more work than some people are willing to put in. Wherever you're keeping them in the house, uh, it's gonna get really dirty, really gross, especially full grown. Like when they're baby babies, they have those little tiny green poops that are okay, you can deal with that, but as soon as they start growing up and they have those big, giant poops that smell awful, like you, that room you're, that they're in, unless you have like some kind of air freshener or you're putting them on like scented puppy pads, I don't even know if those exist, it's gonna stink, it's gonna smell really bad, and you're going to have to put a lot of work into cleaning. Never let them poop directly on wood floors. It will sink into the floor, and you won't be able to get it out, and it'll be really gross. So if you want house ducks that are cute and they're gonna cuddle with you, make sure they have a, an area that is easy to clean. I saw this really cool channel on YouTube that really inspired me to put more effort into this channel. And it was these people that they have these call ducks and they're so cute and their house is so cool. They have this like in their kitchen slash dining area, they have just like this big open area and in the middle, they just built this room right in the middle of this for their ducks and it steps down into a little area and it has a little pool, a miniature pool for them. And it's all, I think like turf or fake grass and there's a, um, a drain in there so they could just spray it out. It's, it's awesome and that's like ideal in my case, like that's what I would want if I was to have house ducks. I would want something that's like that easy to clean and their ducks just run around the house with them sometimes um, without diapers, which I was, that scares me. I don't want ducks pooping on my wood floors, but uh, to each their own. But if you want house ducks, you will need to be willing to put in the work. If you think they're just gonna walk around without a diaper and poop where you want them to poop, that's never gonna happen. They are so hard to train. They are, especially like my ducks, are treat motivated and treat motivated only. Like they will love me if I sit down with a cup of food in front of me. Any other time they will run away screaming. Um, they are completely food motivated. So if you are trying to potty train them, think about this. If they realize that you will give them treats for going to the bathroom where you want them to go, they will not go to the bathroom where you want them to go to the bathroom unless you give them treats. So you need, that basically means you have to follow them around and wait for them to have to poo and notice them going so that you can give them a treat. And they poop every five minutes or so. So that's a lot of time spent chasing them around with treats, waiting for them to poop where you want them to poop. So it doesn't seem worth it to me. To, again, to each their own. Some people have that much time on their hands to do that. But um, honestly, to just to be straight up, it's way easier to keep them outside because, um, you know, yards are generally messy to begin with and um so it's not it's not as bad to have all the mess 
out here than it is in your home and having to clean your home constantly. One other thing that I forgot to mention about the outside is that if you have water like anywhere, like if you have a sprinkler and it's creating little puddles in your yard, they will dig holes. Let me show you. So I have a sprinkler that I put on every day and this is the result of that. They literally dig holes all over. Like this whole area is just them digging holes where the water collects. So make sure that you are looking where you're walking when you're walking in your yard because I guarantee you I have twisted my ankle so many times falling in the holes that these guys make in the yard because they like to dig for worms and grubs and whatever it is that lurks underground that they like to eat. Just be wary. Don't trip. I've tripped. One of my ducks tripped in one of the holes and now has a limp that the vet can't fix and he might limp forever. So um, watch out for the holes. They can be deadly, I promise you. Um, I would suggest moving your sprinkler around. I move it around so that it's not just um, sprinkling in the same area because that also erodes the earth as the ducks are digging through and it makes the holes even deeper, which makes them even more dangerous. So uh, definitely move the sprinkler around so it's in different places in the yard and it's not just going in one place making these holes deeper and deeper. Um, yeah, definitely watch out for the holes in the yard. All right, so that is my video on the kind of behind the scenes cons of having ducks that people should probably think about before they go out to get them. I know some people kind of buy them impulsively. I bought my first two ducks impulsively and I must confess, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I immediately started doing research so that I could give them the best lives that they could have. Obviously, I have evolved um, since then and I now have a lot of ducks and I'm obviously on the internet giving advice on how to take care of them. So um, I'm pretty proud of my flock and the ducks that I've managed to collect. I do have a few rescues and I love my rescues. I, I feel very blessed to be so privileged just to be able to take in rescues that were abandoned um, and give them a new opportunity at a domesticated life because they are not supposed to be in the wild. I will do another video on why domestic ducks should not be in the wild and should not be abandoned in the wild. And I will do a video giving you guys some resources of places you can go or places you can call if you need to rehome a duck um, because putting them back in the putting them in the wild, not back in the wild, they should never be in the wild to begin with. Putting them in the wild is is should never be an option. Um, they won't, they will likely not survive. They're not well equipped for it, but I will do that in another video. Um, the credits to this video go to Brittany from my Raising Ducks Facebook group. So thank you so much, Brittany, for giving me the idea for this video. Um, I really appreciate it, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I really hope that this can help somebody. Um, if I missed anything, if there are any other um, messes that ducks make that I missed, please drop them in the comments so that other people can see and um, be able to learn. I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.